Hello, everybody from America Top Team Connecticut, Core Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Association. I'm Luigi Mondelli, your head coach, and this is my weekly talk. I decided to record this one to go over what I planned for 2022 camp or end of the year camp. I like to host every year a good event, December, November, December, where we have workshops, belt graduations, and guest instructors. I will go over with you guys some innovating things that I'm adding up to this uh, year's camp. And I hope you guys get excited as I am because many things are new to me and uh, I'm learning as I'm teaching. And I think this is great to share with my team. This is our flyer. This is a three-day course introducing new concepts, mind maps, and universals in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. But also, I think, uh, applies to many other different martial arts, or especially grappling arts. Last year, I was talking to my sister. She works with uh, psychology and education. She's a pedagogue. So she, she's a pretty much a consultant for corporations, for schools. She helps create curriculums, help to assess curriculums. And I was just in a conversation about how hard it can be to teach people from different walks of life and different uh, learning modalities. And she proposed like maybe would be a good idea to have this, um, this part of the camp focus on the theory behind educating people. So we're going to start Thursday, December 15th with the Pedagogy in Martial Arts Instruction Part 2. We had part one last year, but if this is the first time you're coming to our camp and having uh, contact with this content, what I would do is I would share with you the videos and the materials from last year so you understand. Last year was an, uh, an intro. We talked about learning modalities, the movements in learning, how, you know, what is uh, the simulation accommodation process? And we talked about also uh, learning pathogens, how your first experience with, you know, whoever raised you and whoever taught you the first things in life can affect your learning process in the future. So this year we are moving on with that. We're going to talk a, a little bit about psychomotricity. And, of course, we incorporate concepts from uh, Jean Piaget, from Lev Vygotsky, from Jung, from all the great psychologists. And again, my goal is to not just make black belts. If that's your goal, that's awesome that uh, you can become a great black belt and you can, you will have all this knowledge as far as like techniques and develop your skills, your personal skills. But this goes beyond, this is to really help people to become educators, how we can touch people how can how we can motivate people how we can make people stay more engaged how we can teach people with different learning disabilities either uh, uh, psychological or physical so it's very interesting second block of that thursday december 15th i'll be introducing these new things this new methodology the mind maps the micro mind maps and universals and uh this this all came from a um, necessity that I had when I was putting together curriculum for another job. And I saw that having some sort of formats could help people that needed to learn quicker some things related to jiu-jitsu and grappling or combatives and self-defense. So two years ago, I had the macro mind map that I share with all the school owners and instructors, professors, and I have one printed out and posted on our wall in our school. And that is pretty much a macro mind map. This one, in this camp, I'll be going over like things that we'll be able to show and explain to our students in a um, more abstract way but it's still with the structure to help them understand visually and also through touch some things in jiu-jitsu that we find to be universals. It's kind of hard to explain. You guys really need to come to the camp to, 
to see that in action. In, in action. On Friday, we're going to have, oh, by the way, and then Thursday, we're going to review the changes that I'm making to the fundamentals curriculum, how we can, we, we can associate some mind maps and universals in each situation, how we can use the curriculum already to introduce those ideas to our students and help them understand better the game in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and grappling, self-defense, combatives. So Friday 16th, the three blocks, the continuation, so going to be part two for um, the pe pedagogy and martial arts instruction or the psychology and education. Um, psychology and education in martial arts education, let's say. Mind maps and universes part two, and of course the advanced curriculum. On Saturday, I decided to make some changes. Pahumpa is coming. He's our every end of the year guest instructor, but this year uh, we're going to have a quick change, and he's coming in March. I already spoke to him, and then hopefully in December next year, too. I also moved, uh, I'm moving the SIAC Combatives Seminar with Tuhom Tom Kyer from December 17th, initially, that I have mentioned to some people, to February, because many people couldn't be here and people outside our community, our school, but I wanted the, these friends to be able to come to Tuhan's uh, SIAC and combative seminar as well. But to keep everything related to grappling and jiu-jitsu, and instead of having the regular jiu-jitsu uh, seminar with Pahumpa, I, I was thinking like maybe my students should have this first person uh, experience with my mentor, my self-defense teacher, my RMA teacher, uh, Professor Wal Isaac, Shihan Wal Isaac. And the idea is to help people open their minds to understand how we need to adapt what we know of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu grappling in general so we can so we can apply to real life scenarios. So this course, we're not gonna tell people to come with a no gi gear or a gi or a uniform. You will come with street clothes. That that would be the difference. You can wear jackets, you can wear sweatshirts, or you can just have you just a regular t-shirt, whatever, you know, type of pants or of, uh, you know garments that you wear on daily basis. Because we're going to be doing grappling, standing, and on, and on the ground. We're not going to go over, like, all the scenarios because we have lethal, non-lethal scenarios. We're going to pretty much keep it in a way that is easier to see how we can escalate from um, a situation. Or first of all, we want to de-escalate every single time. But say, if I find myself in a non-lethal situation, how should I act? and what I should do so any situation that, say, I cannot get myself out of it, um, how we can keep the situation safe for everybody, how we can uh, control the situation so the situation doesn't become lethal in any way, and with the weapons or no, uh, no weapons involved or no conventional weapons involved. And then uh, at 12 p.m., we're going to have the belt graduation. So the whole... Um, the whole cost for all the three days this year will be three ninety nine, and that will include the grappling for the streets, uh, the RMA portion of the camp on Saturday. So three ninety nine is for everything, and um, and the reason is the price went up a little bit because I also have guest instructors such as Shihan Wall Isaacs, uh, or my uh, sister, who is a professional in psychology and education. But if you're not coming for the camp, you can come to the Grappling for the Streets seminar only for $50. So if you want to do just the Grappling for the Streets with uh, Professor Wall Isaac, all you need to do is follow the links. You go to the thebjjcamp.com. You follow the links. You're going to have two uh, links. One link for the whole camp, $399, and that will include everything. And by the way, this camp is a certification camp. 
So uh, we're going to certify you under core Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, to teach, right? So this is part of our uh, uh, educational program for educators. And, um, and if you don't want to do the camp, you can just choose the other option and pay only $50 for the seminar specifically, okay? Um, we're going to take um, payments at the door, but I would highly recommend people interested in doing the camp, the grappling for the streets to reserve your spot by signing up ahead. All right, so that's what I have, guys, uh, for today. Again, I'm trying to innovate. I'm trying to bring new things for our affiliates. I'm trying to bring new things for you guys. I hope to see everybody. Uh, and again, you could be uh, a white belt, a blue belt. You can be a black belt. Of course, black belts will learn more um, as far as like the psychology and education. The white belts, I think that anybody below black belt can benefit uh, from learning how to teach people. But not only that. It will help you. It will help yourself understand even more about you know your learning process. You will be able to take this camp if you're doing the whole camp. And I'm like, oh my god, yeah, this is me. Now I know why I think this way. Now I know why it's so hard for me to learn when Luigi explained this way or the other way, and why I, I like better when he explained this way or that way. Let me do an effort this way, or let me talk to my teacher about how maybe we can have a universal language, but how maybe, you know, I can learn if um, I'm having this trouble learning, etc. But anyway, so the idea is to strengthening our community. And uh, I really appreciate you guys. Um, if you guys could come, especially for the main event, which is the RMA Grappling, I would love to have you guys here. I will announce the dates for To Hong Tom Kyer, uh, and his Sayak combatives uh, soon, uh, as soon as I talk to him. And then, of course, for Pahumpa Seminar in 2023. Thank you very much.